we're at your residence. Uh, tell me um, what you did to the salmon and uh, how you're going to prepare it. Well, basically, we got it from Italo, and it's already marinated. Oh. I've got the barbecue warm, and we are just about ready to introduce all that wonderful meat to the hot barbecue. Okay, so there's our salmon. You see a little bit of glare from the sun. It's been marinated in roasted garlic, roasted green peppers, and we're going to be putting a little bit of butter on top, and just done on the grill. I like the way you're doing it skin side down. Yes. Ooh, I like that sizzle. Ever so gently. Are we going to be able to set all these? Oh, yes. These first two are uh, Chinook salmon, one fish, and then we've got two small coho strips. Now, what I'd like everybody to know is that these fillets do not have any fat on them. You can see how thin they are? We uh, purposely, Aldo Nava, Niagara Fishing Adventures, let's take a good look at this, took the fat off. Most people are worried about eating fish from Lake Ontario. Well, let me tell you, this fish is safer to eat than aquaculture fish, where they have no regulations on contaminants in the fish food. And by eliminating most of the fat, we're just going to be eating protein and very little or no contaminants. So Mike's got the salmon fillets on the barbecue. That's my Kirby behind me, his beautiful wife. Carol is over there and my wife Barbara over here. So we're sitting on their patio. It's a nice summer day. And uh, while we're waiting for the barbecue to warm up, we've got some nice salad and some chips and things. So in just about, uh, say, seven minutes, we're going to check the fillets to make sure that the skin is seared because we put the fillets right on the grill. We want that skin to get nice and hard so it protects the fillet. We're not going to turn it over. You're going to see how good they're going to look in two minutes. It's been cooking for about five minutes. You can see the temperature is at about 300 degrees. Chef Mike, if you can just uh, open. And we're going to look here. So let's see what's happening here. Just the edges of the fillets are starting to cook. You can see especially on the smaller fillets. And what Mike is doing, he's got a little bit of butter. And uh, he's saving his brush. And he's just going to smear a little bit of that butter. A little bit. We just want to get kind of painted on with a fork. Does that make sense, Mike? Paint it yes. on with a fork. Oh, this is doing it so nicely. Here. Yeah. So you want to do all the fish? It's just to give it some flavor. It doesn't really need butter. So we're going to use all that butter up on these little pieces of fish. Then we're going to turn the temperature up a little bit. And as these fillets cook, the seasonings are going to go in because as the fillets cook skin side down, not turning them, the flesh is going to crack a little bit as the moisture goes out of there. Butter's going to melt and it's going to go in there along with the seasonings. You do a great job, Mike. You must do this every week with fresh salmon. And crackers. And I, love, crackers. I love butter on my crackers. Perfect. There we go. So we're good. Maybe put a little bit more on this one. This one. A couple more spots. We don't want to be stingy with the butter. No. Yep. It's probably one of the easiest ways to do salmon and also there healthy. There you go. Oh, that's because nice. the little fat, more here? Yep. Any excess fat is actually going to drip off. And uh, the grill should be pretty clean because that skin is like an armor. It really protects the fillets. Perfect. So okay, we're going to check it back in about 10 minutes. Okay, about 15 minutes have gone by. You can see our wives in the background, and I've got Mike, Chef Mike. He's going to check to see how our fish fillets are doing. Well, we're going to open up and have a look at the fish and see if it's cracking, as the title said it would, and it is. Look oh at that. Oh my goodness. Do you it see is. the transformation, Mike? Yes. Look at how they've billowed up. Mm. So this is about, I'm going to say, 20 minutes in, or thereabouts. So the fillets have shrunk a little bit laterally, and they puffed up a little bit. So that's just the moisture going out of them. And those are the two bigger Chinook ones. Um, they're about maybe 14, 15 inches long, and these are the coho fillets here. And they've got, I love that color. You see some of the butter that's melting there still? And that cracking, I think, is so important. Actually, I'm going to do a close-up. You can actually see everything sizzling in there. These are going to be delicious. Mike, mm. I'm guessing about 15 minutes we're going to be done. Yes, very good. I am going to do the old English test. I am going to taste the fish to see if it's ready. You can fork it. Yes. Oh boy. Isn't that a nice piece? Look at that. Look at the color. Is it smoking? It's smoking. Okay, don't, don't burn your mouth, whatever you do. Mm. 
Moist. Perfect. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? I am absolutely sure. Okay, let's That's do perfect. it. Let's take them off. <laughs> Carol, are you going to be the platter holder? Okay, I'll be okay. the platter okay, holder. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Come on, you got my suspense I here. I should have my hair. No, All right, now we're preparing for supper. Okay, you start with the big one? Yes. Okay, so that should come right off the grill. Work your way right to the back. And then, oh, it's okay. Broken Two pieces. Half. That'll be my piece. It's king. <laughs> Look at that steam come off. And then, yeah, get the other big one. The other big one? Yeah, yeah. Just work it, yeah, angle down from the back. You're doing great. You can be able to use even the handle of the spatula. Use your hand on top. Oh boy, it might break. It didn't break. It didn't. Oh my goodness, you are good. Watch your finger, Carol. Okay, and let's do the little guys. Mmm. Oh. The cohos. See what I like? The skin actually protects it, right? So um, the grill doesn't have much fish on there. Oh, yeah, these look good. You ever heard the term a pile of fish? Mm. This is it. We got a pile of fish. Wow. That looks awesome. Carrie holding that perfectly. Look, this is like for all the foodies out there. Eat your heart out. Fresh fish and good company. Actually, I could use glass. I could use glass. We're good.